So here's what I'm thinking. Now that I've had a little bit of time to um, review uh, this deck since we were playing with it, uh, well, we all know what this does. You know, that is your the uh, red eyes dark dragoon setup right there. But um, now that I've had a little bit more time. I kind of messed around with this a little bit, and here's what I'm thinking. I I had to throw Red Eyes Alternative in there. I got a, another stone in there. Um, I threw Phantas, uh, Phantasma in there. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, okay. So, we're going to be looking at them. Rainbow stayed in. There's another the third alternative black. So it's already different from Monday's profile. Um, but reason being is here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to be adding successor soul. I'm not sure about Dragon Shrine yet. I have to um, double check on that. Successor soul is going in. This divine is going in. So there will be two arc braves, two divine dragons. And I'm trying to find if I still have more of these ruins. I think they were in my old binders, which are gone. So we are going to see here if... Um, If we can make the red eyes a bit more, let me see here. I'm trying to make this red eyes deck more meta in a way that it stops the other player from being able to just break your board down in a heartbeat. And it all is going to rely on these ruin cards. The idea is, if a monster is special summoned, except from the graveyard, which you'll be special summoning from the graveyard mainly, while you control a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster, that face up special summon monster has its effects negated until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. So the idea behind that is, your special summoning monsters out of the graveyard, it's fine. Most of the cards in this deck allow you to um, special summon either out of the grave or they can make themselves eight for the opponent's turn only. If you, let's just say you don't have those dragons out there. Well, then you can use the dragon monster that's a level four, but he'll turn into an eight for their turn. So that's not targeting, it's non-targeting, and it just makes sure that, um, that they can't do anything. When they special summon out their monster, the effects are negated. So all they have is a vanilla monster they special summoned. Oh, now they link summoned. Doesn't matter, that link monster, it's vanilla. You know, whatever they do, it's vanilla. So that's that's the goal that I want for this deck. That's how I, I'm I'm hoping that I can make this thing work. But I really need to have three of those ruins. Um these black stones, I mean you just you pitch these off, you can go ahead and get yourself a red eyes monster. So ideally you'd want three of these. I've got two um, they can recycle out of the graveyard pretty easily. Uh, you gotta have your three red eyes. You gotta have your Dark Magician and your red eyes fusion if you're gonna do your Dark Dragoon. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, yeah. Maybe, yeah, do I wanna stick... I could stick the Numeron engine in here too. So it could be a Numeron 
Dragon Lords Red Eyes deck. I mean, that's a lot. Um, a Numeron, <laughs> a Numeron, uh, Dragon Lords Red Eyes slash Dragoon. Wow. Yeah. Um, that's pretty nuts. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight cards. Uh, plus this one and that one. So we were at 50. That means we have to slim down. 10 cards just to hit 40, and then we're gonna have to slim down a couple more to fit these other cards we want in. Hmm. Well, let's see. Where are we gonna begin here? Uh, let's see. Polly, 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 Polly. Hmm. Isn't there other cards in here that do what Polly does? So I could get rid of Polly, maybe. Return of the Red Eyes. Special Summon. It's not anything to do with Fusion. Red Eyes, Fusion, Fusion. Summon a Red Eyes monster. Okay, well, there's a Fusion. Um, it'd be ideal to have three Red Eyes Fusions in this deck, actually. That's what we want to do. What do you do? Target one red-eyes monster in your graveyard, except red-eyes beat check and special summon it. Ah, you're gone. That's an easy one. Red-eyes inside. Send one red-eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Add one red-eyes spell. Oh, we gotta hang on to that one. That's basically gonna be our red-eyes fusion. We could just get our hands on this and get to red-eyes fusion, so that's fine. Let's see... Card of the Red Stone, send one level seven red eyes monster from your hand to the graveyard, draw two cards. Then you can send a level seven red eyes monster from your deck to the graveyard. Hmm. One for one, that gets us our black stone, so I think we should probably hang on to that. Hmm. Red Eyes Retro Dragon. If a level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect or attack and sent to your graveyard while this card's in your hand, you can special summon this card in defense mode and if you do special summon as many of those destroyed monsters as possible. Eh, that's probably pretty damn good to keep our hands on. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one dragon type monster from your hand. You cannot special summon monsters except dragon type monsters, nor conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's good, but the no battle phase thing is kind of a killer. I mean. Pfft. Giving them a whole another turn. Add a level 5 or higher monster and deck to your hand. There's better ways to search than this. There's better ways to search than that. Alright. Once per turn during your end phase, if this card was normal summoned, you can add a level 7 lighter dark monster from the deck to your hand. Hmm. That's an easy one actually to get rid of too. All right, we are making some changes. Yeah, this is not exactly the usual um, format here. 
but yeah, this video is not, uh, it's not taking up uh, a spot for the day. It's just its own thing. Depending on how many gear freeds we have too, um, I don't mind running like one or two, but I'm not going to run three of them, I don't think. Computer player equips an equip card to this card. You can destroy those equip cards. Then you can destroy a spell. Once per turn, you can send an equip card. Figure out then target level seven red and special summon it. Um, yeah, I'll run one, but I'm not running more than one. Yeah, yep, there's another one. So that's gone. Gone, gone. Uh, dum, 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 dum. So, let's just do this now. Let's sleeve up the, uh, man, I really do hate these little sleeves. They're not bad if you're gonna, you know, double sleeve or, um, uh, for not playing. It's like, if you're just gonna sleeve up a card like, uh, do I have that card down here? Okay, like this, all right? I wouldn't mind putting this sleeve on this and then throwing it in here because, like, Literally, I have this card in my wallet, no joke, and it's double sleeved. I've got one of these sleeves on it, and then it's in like a sleeve that's even smaller than this black, big ass sleeve. This is an ugly sleeve I use just for, um, you know, openings and stuff. But, um, as far as this, this is an old deck. Um, I didn't have any other sleeves, so I had to use what I could. Uh, way before this channel was ever even an idea, before I ever watched any YouTube, um, this deck had been made, you know, so. And then over the years, it's gotten cards put in it, and I never updated the sleeves, but, you know, now that I have to be a representative of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, I can't let you guys see sleeves like this and let you think it's okay to play like this because these things love to stick to each other. And it's not cool. Like, it is a pain in the ass. And I, I don't want you thinking like, oh yeah, I'll just get that. No, these are not okay for locals or tournaments or anything. They're alright if you're going to play with your friends, but even then, you're going to get salty when they're sticking together, you know? Just, it sucks. Um, enough about me bitching about these damn sleeves that I will be replacing for sure. Alright. How many did we manage to uh, get rid of the first round out? One, two, three, four, five. Five, six. Six cards. We got a little ways to go. But, hey, you know what? To be able to go through once and knock out six... That's pretty good. A lot of times I'm like really fighting. Like, oh god, I can't get rid of none of this. Let's see. If you control the red-eyes monster, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one red-eyes monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Alright, that's going to be an easy one. I have three of them in here, I believe. That's definitely going down to one, if not zero. Really, it should be zero. There's the other one. Is there a third in here? I'm kind of thinking that that's got, yeah, here's the third. Let me see this. If you control the red-eyes monster, target a normal monster in your graveyard. It's a trap card. I mean, it's a continuous trap card, so you just keep using it. As long as you control the red eyes, you can just keep special summoning normal red eyes. Not even normal red eyes, just normal monsters. So even the summon skull that's in here, whatever, I could just keep bringing those monsters back. 
Hmm. We'll try it. See what happens. I'm sure it'll break in my hand once or twice, and then I'll just be like, yeah, that shit's gotta go. Okay. What do you do? Once per turn, you can target one monster your opponent controls. Can't change battle position or declare an attack until the end of the next turn. Hmm. Alright, well, let's say we bounce you two. If we bounce that one too. Mm. You know, we could get rid of Summon Skull. If we get rid of Summon Skull, then we're definitely getting rid of that, um, that other trap. But then we're also going to have to bounce a couple monsters out of our extra deck. Alright. That's fair. We're trying to make this thing work, right? Alright. I hope I'm not boring the shit out of you guys. I just, you know what? I'm like, normally I just do this shit by myself. And, uh, I thought today... Why not do it on the channel as like a bonus extra video? It's not counting towards the usual opening in the morning video. This one is just a little something extra. Alright, Keeper of the Shrine. What the F do you do? I can't remember. This card can be treated as two tributes. For the tribute summon of a dragon monster, while you or while this card in your hand, or while this card is in your hand or graveyard, if a face-up dragon monster on the field is sent to the graveyard by a card effect or because it was destroyed, you can special summon this card. Then, if that monster sent to the graveyard was a normal monster, you can add one dragon-type normal monster from your graveyard to your hand. Alright, so he can special summon out if they bounce one. Anything. If they bounce any dragon monster, you can special summon this out of the fucking graveyard or your hand. And then add a red eyes back to your hand. Hmm. Hmm, 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 I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no. I don't know the scenario that that works in. What is black? Black metal. You can target a red-eyes monster you control. Equip this monster from your hand or field to that target to gain 600. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a red eyes card from your deck to your hand. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's do the count now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got down to thirty-eight. All right, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Okay, now if if we find two more of these ruins. We can easily take out two cards to put any time we find a ruins. One card goes out, ruins goes in, whatever. We'll find something to take out. So we just downsized pretty, pretty fat here, I'd say. I mean, this one here, we didn't put that in, and we took all these out. So... Um, we're gonna go ahead 
and sleeve both of these and then we're going to do a couple shuffles and just see what happens. Yeah, such a tight fit. Don't tell her I said that. <clears throat> Alright, so it took 20 minutes into a video, but hey, I stayed focused and I didn't screw around. And we actually managed to get down to 40 cards. Put a couple new one in. Uh, well, you guys weren't here for the other new ones. The uh, Put a bunch of Red Eyes cards in with this Red Eyes deck. Because after I just did that profile, like I said, on Monday, I just, I just felt like it needed a good update. So that's where we're at. As far as right now goes, let's just play around and see what happens yeah these aren't the greatest for shuffling either okay there we go our brave red eyes retro red eyes insight arc brave again and a galactic spiral okay can we do anything with this Send a red eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Add one red eyes spell or trap from your deck to your hand. So we can play red eyes insight and send a red eyes monster from our deck to the graveyard. Can't send that. Uh, This card is treated while it's in the graveyard, too. Wow, it's a normal monster, even if it's in the graveyard. I forgot about that. Red eyes, red eyes. This doesn't do anything in the graveyard, right? Hmm, nope. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, we're, so we're going for that. So realistically, it doesn't matter what we send. I wonder what the best one would be, though. Wait a minute, do we have two of these? We do have two of those. So technically, we have five normal monsters in here now. Tribute that. No, oh, wait a minute. You can target a level 7 or lower red eyes monster in your graveyard and add this card to your hand. So, we bounce that to the graveyard. We add that to our hand. Then we're going to activate the red eyes fusion to send... Why did it just drop? Oh, that's funny. Send that and that to the graveyard. Now we got our Red Eyes Dragoon out. Okay. And these would be in the graveyard. We'll use the effect of stone to um, shuffle this into the deck. And then we can have this in our hand. <clears throat> okay. All right, so graveyard, blah, blah, blah. All right, here we go. So we still have yet to do our normal summon. And we have one dark monster out. So if we do our normal summon of our black stone of legend, we can special summon the galactic spiral dragon. And you can special summon this in defense mode. So we will defense that. Let's just say this is now, because if we link summon, we don't want to take that spot. All right. 
Mm -mm -mm. We got the Retro Dragon, just in case any Red Eye stuff gets uh, destroyed. It all gets Special Summoned back, so we're good with that. The Arc Braves, mm. we'll sit on those for right now. I don't see any reason to try to ditch them or even Special Summon them at this point, because I kind of want to get them to the graveyard. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't pull them. I'm only running two of them. I pulled both of them, so not exactly what I was trying to do. Um, okay, so our normal summon here. You can tribute this card, special summon a level 7 or lower red-eyes monster from your deck. Uh, ask card your hand, blah, blah. All right, so that's going to go back. We are going to special summon. Should we just get the red eyes bee dragon? Let's go uh go normal. Let's see. I think we could do this one, I believe. It's a level seven or lower. Uh, da -da -da -da. Once again, you can destroy all face-up monsters your opponent controls with defense lower than this card's attack. And its attack is higher than our regular red eyes. So, yeah. Why not? We'll bring that guy out and attack. That way, if he makes it to the next turn... Um... We'll use the effect... Of destroying all their face-up monsters with a lower defense than 2,500. We've got our double negate um, red eyes dragoon. We got our defense galactic spiral because realistically, I'm not bringing out anything. I mean, if I had like a linga two in here that I gave a shit about. I would pitch for that, you know, pitch these two for that, but I don't have a level two in here because my, my cards are in my blue eye set, the, the decent ones that are for dragons. So this one is not exactly a link heavy deck. So we'll hang on to this to bring back anything that gets destroyed, anything that's red eyes here. Uh, attack or card effect. While this card's in your hand, you can special summon this card in defense mode, and if you do, special summon as many of those destroyed monsters as possible. So, bam. Any of these monsters get destroyed, they're coming back. Um, yeah, I would say that's fair enough. I mean, even on the next turn, okay? Now, we already have game, because... This is 8,000 right here, but Dragoon goes up quite quickly to 4,000 after he negates something. So next turn, you know, if, if they did destroy this, I would be able to come out there with all of these monsters once again and with 17 more. That's, you know, and that was with the two bricks in hand. I mean, I didn't even have to go this route. I went the Red Eyes route fully. This is a whole nother engine in this deck. So, that's just... That's where I'm going with it. Um, yeah, I'm cool. Uh, I'm cool with... Uh, I'm cool with that little test. Um, the Red Eyes slimming down... Um, seem to have done its job. So, you know, I'm not saying any of these were bricks. They worked in the last deck that I was building because I was trying to special and poly and all that shit. And um, I was using a lot of the level 4 XEs. So I needed these cards in here for those moves. But those aren't the moves I'm going for this time. And I'm going to... Go to bed, you know, because I finished slimming down the deck, um, and it's just a little extra something-something for you guys, because you guys are awesome.